Ask Reddit by Unland2. What's an obvious sign someone's American? In Salzburg I went to grab something from the drugstore. As I was checking out I said hello to the cashier, thinking there was very little difference between how I said it and how Austrians say it. She immediately started speaking to me in English and I asked her how she knew I spoke English. She deadpan stared me in the eye and goes hello. I just about died laughing since I'm a very stereotypical friendly American that says hello exactly like that. One of my favorite memories from that trip. I definitely read your hello like Mrs. Doubtfire. An Italian told me that Americans walk confidently in the wrong direction. I had a boss who was an F-18 pilot. He said go as fast as you can if you think you are lost. You'll either get where you're going or find out you made a mistake sooner. They want ice in their water. Hi, American here. I have an addiction to chewing on ice. Hey, how are ya? Great. Thanks for asking. How's your day going or how are you doing in completely random circumstances? The thing is, usually, it's more of a greeting as opposed to an actual question you are expected to answer. I worked as a cashier in a touristic place in Paris. I always recognized Americans because they were kinda friendly to me and they always left tips. I guess there are worse things than friendly and generous. Retail worker here, not living in the US. I can generally spot an American because they greet me with hey how are you, and since I usually have the standard tired from life retail worker expression at first I thought they were mocking me so I didn't know how to react. Took me a while to realize they weren't really expecting an answer on mayo. Mind you, might just be my personal experience but it's happened too many times for it to be a coincidence. Not a coincidence. In the US we are basically trained to have these meaningless, pseudo-friendly interactions with retail workers. If we walk into a store, a worker will greet us and ask how we're doing. The only acceptable reply is, fine, how are you and then we move on with shopping. If someone asks how far away something is, an American will tell how you long it takes to get there as opposed to physical distance. This varies in America depending on if you live in a big city or not. If you live in the country, people usually use miles because of little traffic so the time is pretty constant. Where if you live downtown in a city, or even a bigger suburb, a one mile journey can take 5 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour depending on the time of day, rush hour, accidents backing things up etc. The gentle grins you give to strangers if you make eye contact with them as you pass by at least in the Midwest was not well received in Germany. I dated a European man here in the US. When we walked together, every time I made eye contact with someone on our path I would smile at them, and they would always smile back. Boyfriend was so confused at all these strangers smiling at me. Kept asking if I knew all these people. It was hilarious. Eye contact. Maybe a smile and a how's it going? My dad always taught us to make eye contact when you meet someone, and the go-to line was how ya feelin? How much personal space they give themselves. Americans like at least an arm length. We're conditioned to fill spaces evenly. I noticed when I work delivery, spending lots of quality time on elevators that for every new person that enters, everybody shuffles to even things out. Similar thing plays out in social gatherings and bars. Not sure if that's universal or not, but I find it interesting. I think the size of our personal bubbles is because our spaces are generally much larger because we've got the space, heh, to build bigger buildings, sidewalks, roads etc. Might also explain why we're louder. Used to filling larger spaces with volume. By contrast, I've noticed people from East Asia on the other end of the spectrum have seemingly, to me, no concept of personal space and have no problem entering my sacred bubble of personal space. I'd imagine it's just due to living in denser conditions. According to the Sire when training to be a spy you have to unlearn how to lean. 
Americans tend to lean on things when standing still. Wow, that's an interesting point. I never thought about that. As an American, I was expecting to get roasted in these comments. But after reading them I can only laugh and agree. Laugh very loudly while leaning. Deleted. And New Yorkers are a different breed. Their regular talking voice absolutely booms over everything else. Makes sense when you have to be heard over the 1000 dB noise pollution. One American I've met was a bit stereotypical in some regards. He was on a biking tour from Sweden to Palestine, had an unusual beard, huge white teeth, was extremely friendly and a bit loud, and he literally carried a bucket of peanut butter with him because he said that was the most efficient way to carry energy for his travel. I was an intern at a software company that just got bought by a huge American company, Warner I think, and one time some executives were visiting, walked through our office complimenting all the developers loudly and then disappeared again. My general impression of Americans I've met in person is that it's difficult to see what you guys really think and feel, because you seem to hide it behind a layer of aggressive cheerfulness. So when I see someone radiating that, I expect them to be from the US. Aggressive cheerfulness is exactly it. Wow. They smile at strangers. Deleted. From what I've been told by European friends and travelers, our complete and utter lack of an indoor voice was in Geyser in Iceland. Loads of people sitting in silence patiently waiting for it to go off. The anticipatory silence of waiting for a natural phenomenon to occur was broken by a loud American shouting blow. Damn it. In my home stay in London, I was told that I was so American for enjoying a piece of cake for breakfast, not frosted cake, but like a nuts and dried fruit spiced coffee cake kind of thing. Apparently that's exclusively for like a 4pm snack, and breakfast is more of a savory meal. That's true. A lot of American breakfast items in my mind are desserts, pancakes, muffins, waffles etc. Doesn't mean I won't eat them but it's kinda weird to do so. German here. British man once told me he knew I was American because I was wearing a baseball cap backwards. An Italian told me they could tell I was American because I wore my sunglasses on the top of my head when I wasn't using them. The accent usually gives it away. What are y'all suppers and that means? While visiting Turkey I was told that I looked American because I was sitting with one leg across the other, and the bottom of my shoe was exposed. Apparently it's rude idk. I'm literally sitting this way right now. Well, shit. Very amenable to socializing with strangers in settings like bars. Assertive, fair, curious, will get your back without knowing you too well. I've had positive experiences. Making sure you've got your homies backs even if they're new homies is a big thing in our culture I guess. Tactical sunglasses. Sounds like my daddy even has a dark platinum wedding ring that he describes as tactical. I don't know how true it is, but when I was in a hostel in Japan we met a guy from France I think. But in a ho at some point he mentioned he could tell we were from USA. He said it was because we talked loudly. Like our normal speaking volume was louder. And now I can't help but notice that sometimes when I speak to someone from a foreign country, I do feel like I talk louder than them. Full stop. An inordinate amount of small talk, unprompted. This is definitely dependent on where in America. Midwesterners love small talk, but other areas it's more frowned upon. I've noticed this as I've traveled myself from the Midwest and everyone seems peeved. I've always observed my us friends like to point out stuff while walking and say what it is. We were out walking around Amsterdam recently and they were like hey look it's a smoke shop. Oh look a sex shop. Oh hey, it's a prostitute. Look at the canal. Wow it's another prostitute. Another canal etc etc. 
It was like watching Netflix with audio descriptions turned on. Deleted. I rather enjoy wearing my baseball hat and eating and drinking on the go. Law. A lot of Americans I met in the UK have been some of the most politest people ever. From all different states. Yes, e yes ma'am. I know somebody's gonna joke that's because they're disarmed while over here, but no they've been so polite I at times wonder why things can't just sort themselves out over there. Also sentimental. Despite what is shown in the media most Americans agree on the fundamental needs of America, but disagree on the means of servicing those needs. To be fair I've said the Azor America to people in foreign countries asking where I'm from and they always say yeah obviously, but where in the US? Exactly. I live in Spain and this is what happens to me 100% of the time. Y'all. Here's a really southern one. Wildy verb. 